Hey guys, Andy again. Today back with a quick tutorial on how you can record your computer screen on your Mac. Before we jump over to the Mac, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and drop me a comment down below if there's some other content you'd like to see me cover. So let's hop over to the Mac. Okay, so here we are on the Mac. And you can see I have a clean desktop and we're gonna walk through the steps to record whatever you wanna record right from your desktop. And we're gonna use the Mac built-in application QuickTime. So I have QuickTime pinned down here uh, to my taskbar. If you don't, you can simply click on the magnifying glass in the top right to open your spotlight search or hit the shortcut key command space to do the same thing and then type in QuickTime player. Okay, so once you open QuickTime player, it is going to prompt you to open a file. We're not gonna open anything, so you can go ahead and hit cancel but we are gonna be left with QuickTime up in the menu bar on the top left. So to start a new screen recording, very simple, we're just going to go ahead and hit File. Now you have multiple options here. New movie recording, new audio recording, new screen recording. Okay, this might sound obvious. We're gonna go ahead and choose screen recording, but there might be another option you might wanna choose here. We're gonna choose another one here in a second. So let's just start with screen recording and see what that does. So I'm gonna click screen recording. Okay, when you click screen recording, this little gray bar on the bottom of the screen is gonna pop up. And this is QuickTime's uh, control menu to show you uh, your different options to record screen or different parts of your screen. So right now, if I hover over it, you can see it says record selected portion. And you can see that's selected and there is a highlighted box with everything outside the box darkened showing you that inside the boxes that's the only part of my screen i'm going to record all right so let's switch over to record entire screen now you see that box is now gone and it's now recording my entire desktop so maybe that's what you want the options to the left now notice these are different. The two options I just showed you have little circle icons kind of denoting a record button. The ones to the left are for screenshots. So these are still screenshots. So if you just wanna capture a still image of a portion of your screen, you might wanna choose one of these, capture an entire screen, capture a selected window, or just a portion. Okay, and then of course you have multiple options to where you'd like to save that recording or screenshot to or maybe you wanna include a timer on your screenshot or when you start recording uh, or include your microphone, etc. We're just gonna leave defaults here for now. We're not gonna play around with that, but feel free to check those out. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and record our entire screen. Let's hit record. So now we're recording and to know we're recording, you can see on the top right of the screen, there is a little record button uh, that looks like a circle with a stop button inside. Okay, and that's the button we're gonna press to stop the recording. So let's just go ahead and open a window. I have a browser open here. I'm gonna go over to YouTube. And let's check out this guy's channel. Oh, hey, that's, that's my channel. Pretty cool. Uh, a lot of cool videos here. I encourage you to go check those out and drop me a comment down below. If there's any one of these you like or like to see more of or you have another idea of some more content. Okay, so that's enough content. Let's minimize that and we're gonna go ahead and stop recording. So you can see once we stopped recording, the button goes away and our recording has opened up right away. Okay, so we can watch this. Go ahead like that. So you can hear me talking in the background so you know it captured our audio which is great. I'm just gonna mute that. Okay, I'm speeding up ahead here so you can see that we have our recording. So you can see the entire screen here, as I mentioned. All right, so stop that. We're gonna close that. Now, if you recall, when we hit the first recording button, it did ask, there was an option to set the location you want to save the video file to. Mine was defaulted to desktop, so here's where the, that video file is. And it'll stay there until I move it. And you can select a different location if you want that saved to a different default location. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into QuickTime and click File. And I mentioned to you there's maybe another option you want to try 
to screen record, depending on what you're trying to do. So maybe we're recording a tutorial on how to record your screen, and I also wanna capture my video. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool, there's an easy way to do this, and we're gonna actually show you how to do a picture in picture. So I'm not gonna do screen recording first. First thing I'm gonna select is new movie recording. So this is gonna use my built-in camera or my webcam that's plugged in as the recording device. You'll be able to select which one. So go ahead and select movie recording. And there I am. Now I'm back on screen. Hi guys. Okay, so we want a picture in picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this as small as possible. Okay, so that's a small, as quick time lets us make it. Okay. And I'm gonna open a browser window. Maybe I'm giving you a tutorial on Safari. Okay, so let's leave that there. Now we're gonna go up and we're going to go back to QuickTime, select File, and you can see new movie recording is grayed out because we already have that running, but new screen recording is still available. Now we're gonna use this to record the activity happening on our screen, which is gonna include our new picture in picture. So go ahead and hit new screen recording. Now you see at the bottom we're, we're prompted with the same options we were before. So record entire screen, selection, here again is the location you could tell it to save the file to. Okay, and this time I'm gonna hit record selected portion. Okay, I'm just gonna slide that over so it gets my Safari window. Okay, so I have it highlighted just my Safari window so that's all I'm gonna record. Let's hit record. Let me click on Safari. Oh, oh no, I'm gone. Where did I go? No problem, we can fix this. You can see my picture in picture window had disappeared because I selected the Safari window and that's now active. It pushed my QuickTime window to the background. So let's get that back. Go down to the bottom and click QuickTime player. So that's now active again. So you can see we're back. And then top menu bar in the QuickTime menu bar, select view and then float on top. Okay, so check this out. Now if I go back and select Safari, I can scroll up and down, and I'm always on top, baby. Now I can go in here, I can show you my channel again, all my videos, pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. I'll bring that up. We're still floating on top. I'm gonna close that. And let's check that out. Oops. No problem. We can fix it. I'm gone. Where did I go? No problem. We can fix it. Okay, so I'll mute my audio again, and you see we're walking through the steps to get my picture and picture back. Go through the clicks. And there I am back on screen. Let's see that thumbs up. Boom, thumbs up, we're good to go. Now we just captured our picture in picture, always on top, awesome tutorial. We'll just close that, close, close that. Okay guys, so it's that simple, recording your screen on your Mac using QuickTime. Remember, QuickTime is free and it's already built into the operating system, so it's probably already installed. If not, it should be a free download right from the App Store. Go check it out, super easy to use. If you like this video, you got some value from it, please let me know, hit that like button. I'm sure you're all wondering too, is there other ways to record your screen? There certainly is, and you probably can tell that by me recording my screen to show you how can I record my screen? So please check out this video to see other ways to record your screen and I'll see you next time.